Hey everybody, Dan Marchetti here, and welcome to part two of Super Mario Odyssey Damageless Survival Guide, how to beat Super Mario Odyssey without taking damage. Super long intro, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to like cut it down. Welcome! <laughs> Maybe just welcome, yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so this is the Cascade Kingdom. This is a pretty short, straightforward kingdom. Uh, there are a couple of choices we can make here, but uh, whatever you choose, it's not a big deal. If you stand outside of the circle here, this chain chomp won't be able to hit you. So as long as you're in the grass and just capture safely from the grass, you should be fine. Bob over here, get your first power moon. If you want, you can like even go outside of here and just walk around so you don't get hit. That's like the super safe way to do it. Never go into that area. You should be just fine. We only need five moons to move on, and there's not really many moons that we have options to grab at this point. So, um, you can make your way around there, or you can hop your way up here like this. Either way is fine, as long as you just don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, this is a little faster than going around. I like to go up here now and grab the dinosaur. As long as we are the dinosaur, we're safe from the chain chomps. You can do Dino Skip if you know Dino Skip, but if you don't know Dino Skip, you don't have to. And if you miss Dino Skip, you might fall into the Chain Chomps. But yeah, basically, we're immune here, so I like to just crash through here and go across this bridge. Smash through this wall. As soon as we do that, this Chain Chomp goes away, and that becomes safe. So not only do we get immunity, but we also grab a flag over there. Flags are going to be important, especially if we make it to post-game. Wait for this guy to pass, and then uh, jump over him, is what I like to do. This guy, try to kill. <laughs> you know, that's that's like a nice safe way. As soon as he's, yeah, just wait around, and then bop. There we go. Nice and safe. Hop over here, and that's going to give us our second moon. And the only other moon we need before the Madam Brutal fight. Up here, I like to also get this checkpoint. Just walk around. As long as we're in the green, we're totally safe. Because those guys can't get out. So here, you'll notice there's like a block. You can just jump over it and do like an easy, happy thing and do it like that. Okay. Madame Brutal. Immediately when she starts, you'll, you're going to see some arrows. Just get out of the path of the arrows. Just go to the right or to the left. Either way, I like to go to the right. Just get out of the path of the arrows. Once you see the arrows, the path of the Chain Chomp is set. And that's going to be the important thing to know. So just go to the right, turn around, bop him a couple of times. You can, If you miss, you can shake the home in. But be careful, because if there's a rock there, then uh, Cappy will home in on the rock instead. <laughs> so that can be bad. Stay super far away, so there's no danger. Now we can be, we can know based on those lines where the Chain Chomp is going to land. Because the arrows will indicate. If he's on a hill, then it can kind of skew that uh, that path a little bit. But we're safe here. Bop, bop. And just a nice, simple way to take care of Madame Brutal here. Yeah. Yeah, just the two things to note. If you see the arrows going up a hill, it is possible that they'll go up, the Chain Chomp will go up the hill and then veer down and be off path and possibly further than you might expect. And also bouncing against walls. If you're right up against the wall, it might bounce off a wall and come back. So keep them in the middle and uh, you should be fine. You should be fine. Don't home in if there are any rocks and just sidestep out of that path if you find yourself in the path. You should be good. Uh, and with that, we have our five moons. If you don't want... If you're doing Dino Skip, I should say, if you're doing Dino Skip, then uh, it's easy enough to grab another moon. Because there's uh, literally two very close by. If you go down here, just underneath here, there's going to be a moon. Well, I can't go down here, but, but just in that room, there's going to be a moon in a chest. Otherwise... We can hop up here and make our way over here. 
you'll see that moon right there. That's another quick, easy moon to grab if you need it. Nice, easy jump over here. And we got our fifth moon if you decide to go for, uh, for the uh, dino skip. And with that, we are done with Cascade. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Cascade Kingdom. Next, I'll be covering a, a part of sand. If not all of sand, I don't know if I'm gonna... I might split sand up into multiple parts, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>